Are you seeing a pattern yet? I've been showing you the ordered analytic in Teradata form and then I move into the ANSI version and that's what we're doing now because we've got a new one for you, the moving average. You've heard of the Dow 65 day moving average. You're going to understand exactly what that means right now. Now, here we're going to take a moving average of daily sales every three rows after we sort by product ID and sale date. So of course we're going to sort by product ID and sale date first. Then we're going to start taking the average of daily sales every three rows. It's going to continue to add up. Now, in the Dow 65 day moving average, they're going to have a moving window of 65. We've chosen a moving window of three here, but it's the same exact thing. And that's what the moving average is going to do. Can you calculate how the answer set has been averaged? I've got some answer set information down here and I've colored the third row in blue. 46, 450, 23. That was a moving average of the daily sales for the current row, 36,000, and the previous two, 54 and 48. Now, let's look at day one. Day one we made 48, 8, 50, 40. That's the average. We can't do three rows there because there's no rows in front of that. Then on day two we did 54 and it's the average of 54 and 48 that gives us the 51. And then after the third row we got our 46, 450, which you can see I've bolded the first three rows. That's a true moving average of three. What about that fourth row? That's going to be 43, 566, 91 in red. That's going to be the current row of 40, 200, 36, and 54. Current row and the previous two, and that's how a moving average is going to work. One thing is consistent with every ordered analytic. It's going to sort. We've got a multi-column sort with a major minor sort key on product ID first, then it's going to be sale date, and then it's time to calculate. Since this is a Teradata syntax ordered analytic, we're doing our moving average and we've got our group by product ID. So it's going to start over again when it gets to a product ID break of product ID 2000. Now remember, the beautiful thing about the group by is it does reset the ordered analytic. The bad news is, is that if you've got a bunch of ordered analytics all using Teradata syntax, they all reset. And that's really where the inflexibility comes from. That's why I love the ANSI version of this. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Do you have two different systems that hold your data? Our query tool, the Nexus, now lets you move data freely between them. Great for data movement and for joins, the Nexus is ready to help you cross boundaries. Visit coughingdw.com for more details. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.